Kids are going to be down here tonight to 11. Also, tomorrow noon to 11, some more amazing folks are going to be down here. There's plenty of food trucks. We even have a beverage ticket station over here by all your local favorite beers. So come on down, support Canton, and support your local media station, Stregat. Hope to see you here. I'm right here from Canton, Ohio, and I, I've been playing and working this Blues Fest for over 20 years, so I'm really excited about playing tonight. Now, are these all original blues songs, or are you going to be playing some other material as well? You know what, I'm going to be doing a tribute to all the people that influenced me, B.B. King, Jimmy Reed, all these wonderful, wonderful, Eric Clapton, all these people that influenced me, I'm going to do some of their things, so. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that, and what about this venue that we have out here tonight? Yeah, you know, it's an amazing venue. The sound is fantastic. If you go outside there, it's wonderful. It's going to be a great night of blues. So are you a one-man band show? I'm a one-man band show, just me and my guitar. Well, you heard it. And where can people come hear you other than here tonight? Well, I do play all over. They can check me out. Uh, I have a website also. They can check me out on Facebook. I have my own Facebook page. And, of course, they can contact me by Gmail uh, if they want to reach me, bluesjeff at gmail.com for bookings. Amazing. So you guys heard it here. Come out and check out Jeff tonight at the Canton Blues Fest. See you there. for many of these these festivals. This is Highway 61, actually. I brought the, the whole Highway 61 band here. Pat Hughes, Dylan Roth, Bob Moffler. And is this the first year you played here? No, I played many of them with different, uh, I played solo and I played with my old three-piece band. All right, so what do you think about the crowd out here? Is this a different venue from the past? It is, they're very much different. It's fancy. All right, so where can people follow you or see you other than here tonight? MikeLens.com and Highway61Live.com. All right, folks, you heard it. Highway 61, come on out, support Ken and Mike and his crew. We'll see you here. So I wanted to know how things weathered for you and the band during the pandemic. Did it affect you guys? Well, we were fortunate compared to a lot of folks. We had a chance to play a lot of private things, so they kept us busy. So you never stopped a beat during the pandemic? It wasn't like we were playing every weekend, but we were getting maybe two, two shows a month, sometimes three, you know. So I had asked how you guys originally got together, because you guys have been together what, 11 years? Uh, the Highway 61 band's been playing together for about close to 20 years. All right, I've been with him 16, 17 years. He's been with him 11. So he must have started when you were what, four? <laughs> Around then? 20? 20, 20, late 20. I'm just kidding with him, so. And you guys started always as a blues band, or were you rock? Initially, it was uh, Roots Rock and Blues. But we just, but being as Bob got more and more into the harmonica as we went along, we decided to go more towards the blues and not so much toward the rock. All right, so we started trying to appeal to different people because, you know, rock appeals to a lot of different things. Blues appeal to some other different people. So for a while we had everything covered, then we kind of went just toward the blues. So what do we anticipate hearing tonight? Some harmonica, some bass, some drums? You're going to hear a bunch of kick-ass blues. All right, folks, you heard it. Come on out and listen to the blues. Blues Bardello. He's the MC tonight. So, Eric, tell me a little bit of what brought
brought you out here tonight? Well, I've uh, been emceeing this for about four years now. Uh, it's nice to be back after uh, the pandemic and obviously this great new venue, it's amazing and everyone's having a blast and it's so nice to have music back. I said this is the, probably the best crowd I've seen for a blues event. So I see you have a shirt on here that says, that says Steve Farley. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Steve Farley is, uh, well, was a local musician. Uh, he recently passed away, and he's got a ton of friends. The music community here is mourning right now. So um, anyway, uh, so I got a shirt because I wanted everyone to remember Steve tonight. What a great tribute to him, and I'm sure he's watching you from above and appreciating everything you do along with his fans here and hearing it from above. So Great guy. He was the best. Right. Well, thanks for joining us, and best of luck to you tonight. Hang out until our show. We will be here. 9 o'clock, everyone. You heard. Come on down and see the group. with What's Up Ohio. Mike, what brings you out here tonight? Oh, this is my 11th year for doing this, and uh, it's a passion of mine. I love the blues. I do all kinds of music in the area and just have a good time at it. So you do cameraman. Where do you see these shots at? Where, they, where can they see your footage? Uh, on whatsupohio.com or my Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. My motto is I'm here, there, and who the hell knows where. And what do you think about this crowd tonight? Is this one of the largest crowds you've seen? Uh, no. This is, uh, since they changed the Centennial Plaza, this used to be an open area here at the Centennial Plaza, and we had the stage sitting over by the Ranker Building, which is considered at the Ranker Building. Uh, you can't see it in this shot, but uh, this used to be a wide open area. We've had some big crowds here. I expect we'll have some big crowds tomorrow for Sonny Mormon and some of the national acts and later on the, t this evening. As long as the weather holds up, we should be good. Well, we still have a, a lot of people out here tonight. And so tomorrow from 12 to 11, you guys can also see it. Check it out. Come on down and see Mike from What's Up Ohio. He'll be here. Market Street is Marcus from the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Everybody come down and spin the wheel and see what kind of goodies you have. Marcus, tell me what's going on down here. Oh, we're out here uh, promoting all of our Enshrinement Week events powered by Johnson Controls. We have our centennial celebration coming back from the class of 2020 to our concert for legends with Brad Paisley and Leonard Skinner to our Black College Football Hall of Fame classic coming this Labor Day weekend to a Highway 77 concert with the Hall of Fame Village. Nice. So how long have you been out here this evening? Oh, I've been out here since 1 o'clock this afternoon. And the crowd has been pretty receptive to this, isn't it? Yeah, hell yeah, the crowd's growing. So you guys are one of the sponsors, right? Oh, uh, we're, well, we're with the Centennial Plaza here. So, all right. so this is all Pro Football Hall of Fame related, along with the Chamber of Commerce down here in Canton. And what kind of goodies can they win here? What are they spinning for? Oh, uh, we've got tickets to uh, the Concert for Legends, Brad Paisley and Leonard Skinner. We've got two tickets to the museum. Those are what's left on the wheel as of right now. But earlier we gave out two tickets to Highway 77, two tickets to the Black College Football Hall of Fame. We're giving out trading cards, we're giving out footballs, we're giving out discounts to our team store, so a lot giving out tonight. All right, folks, well, you heard it. Come down and spin the wheel, and I won this cute little football, so come try. <laughs> Joining me down here at the Canton Blues Fest, I have, what's your name? Josiah. Josiah, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. And your sister? Josel. Josel, how old are you? Thirteen. So what brings you guys down here tonight? Did Grandma bring you down? Yes. Grandma brought you down here? Have you listened to any of the music yet, or are you just here for the funnel cakes? Yes, I love all the music. You love all the music? Well, this is our first time coming here. First time coming here? Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington, all the way to Canton? Yeah. Wow, does Grandma live here? Do you have family here? Yes, my mom and my dad and my aunt. And her name is Auntie Graham. Auntie Graham? All right, can we give a peace sign to all the Canton folks here and say, on count of three, say, come down to the Blues Fest. Ready? One, two, three. Come, come down, down to, to the Blues, blues Fest! Fest. <laughs> Since this is all really